This is a demonstration of what running VT test on Digital Equipment Corporation VT220 and VT320 hardware terminals look like. First, let's have a look at the setup here. When I show I, that I'm running in standard 80 column mode and I'm running the terminal in VT220 on uh, VT200 mode on the VT220. My serial communication is set to using the serial port using data leads only, no flow control. Uh, you will also see in this video that I am running into issues with the characters getting garbled or information getting garbled. I don't know if that is because I'm using data leads only or the fact that I have to run serial communication with an old 486 computer running Telnet to a modern Linux system and uh, jumping through hoops might cause issues or simply the terminals are old. But here we are starting off with the uh, standard screen tests. The uh, VT series after 100 have both an 80 column mode and a 132 column mode so you see the resolutions change and both modes can also be run in uh, reverse video or standard video. So running the more advanced graphical tests here that actually test the VT control signals and we'll see both the uh, forward and reverse AT132 column mode uh, we also briefly saw a tab test this is the sequence where the first glitching appears where you'll see that escape codes are being interpreted incorrectly again I don't know if that's caused by the terminal being old or my signaling glitching either because of jumping through hoops or uh, having incorrect modem or control signaling. This is the test where most people get things wrong. Um, the ergonomics of IBM and digital terminals is stellar with them having proper blink and proper fonts and proper dark and light backgrounds. Um, and also notice that despite digital having some green VT100, VT102, 220s, most terminals sold by Digital were in fact amber in color, not green. Next we'll have a quick look at the um, different character sets or character replacements that the terminal may use. Uh, we'll set up uh, preparing this for uh, displaying Norwegian characters during the multi-language test and setting it up for using the, the uh, special graphics line and uh, supplemental characters during these tests. So first a uh, test of the standard character sets showing off the deck special and alternate graphics. Then the shifted character sets will display the Norwegian and the additional graphics. A display of the locked shifts, so we'll have all character sets that I've configured set up here. Now doing a single shift display of all character sets as well, just to get each character clearly indicated. Showing off the uh, multiple character styles that can be used, or character sizes, with uh, double width, double height, and double width, double height in 132 column mode as well. This pattern blinks and it will be shifted, so displaying a bit of the uh, positioning and scrolling with graphics enabled. And that does it for the uh, VT220. Moving on to the VT30 
320 next. Powering on the uh, 320, it will run through its uh, standard power up test and display its ready signal as soon as it's uh, actually ready. And we'll display simply that I progress by setting the terminal value uh, to the correct setting, so we get a re proper 320 performance here. And you saw me avoid a glitch there by going into a, a different menu. The tests should look more or less identical to the 220, but I'm getting more glitches on the 320, as you can clearly see in the demonstration. The 320 is a smaller and more compact terminal, and uh, I honestly prefer this one to the 220, and in daily use, the glitches that you can see in this demonstration are non-existent and not an issue. The uh, graphic rendition is basically identical to the 220. might look a bit different in color but that is mainly due to differences in intensity settings I didn't match these terminals up properly before starting the test thank you for watching